When a loved one or family member's health deteriorates to the point they must move in with you, everyone's life changes. You'll find yourself in many stressful and perplexing situations. Caregiving Tips A to Z, Alzheimer's and Other Dementias by Star Colloy takes the family caregiver through every hands-on procedure necessary to care for your loved one at home. Every difficult situation the family caregiver faces is addressed and numerous ideas to solve them easily are provided. This complete caregiving manual will help you and your family effectively communicate with all medical professionals to obtain maximum results for your loved one. Caregiving Tips A to Z, Alzheimer's and Other Dementias is colorfully illustrated and has been done in large print so it's easy to read. Providing complete care for a loved one is very noble. The proper caregiving tools will make your endeavor easier. Get your copy of the book today. Caregivers A to Z, Alzheimer's and Other Dementias by Star Colloy. Available at caregiversadvice.net. C-A-R-E-G-I-V-E-R-S-A-D-V-I-C-E dot net. That's caregivers advice.net The keys, the medication, the remote control, all of them are nowhere to be found except in the pile of stuff your loved one has been hoarding over the years. So how do you get your loved one out of this mess? Well, Star Kaloy is back with Caregiving 101. Welcome back, Star. Good morning. Good morning. Let's talk about that. It, it happens. Mm -hmm. Really, it does happen. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we call it rummaging, pillaging, and hoarding in mm -hmm. our books. And what we do, that, that's just basically what people who have Alzheimer's disease or some of the other forms of dementia do, Eileen. And there are several reasons that it could be. No one really knows for sure, mm -hmm. but we have our own suspicions after taking care of so many people over 20 years. Okay, and so what are those reasons? Well, one reason may be because they're stockpiling. Mm -hmm. It may be that they're going back in their mind to a time earlier when they were young and poor, and they didn't have, maybe during the Depression, and so they start stockpiling all these items thinking that they're going to need them a little later for one. Mm -hmm. Or they may think that, well, I'm going to clean up and I'm going to make everything look really nice around, around here. And then a few minutes later, they may forget what they're doing and then just try to stash it out of sight. So that can be another reason. So some of this could ha actually happen at your loved one's home or even mm -hmm. in your own house. Oh, anywhere. Anywhere you go. Even taking them to the store isn't safe. They start st stashing things in their purse. That happens yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Oh, Absolutely. wow. And the main thing is, is to make sure that you don't overreact mm -hmm. and believe that they're stealing because they don't attach any monetary value of any kind to what they're taking. They're, they're probably afraid to let go of certain things that they've held on to since yeah. they were a child as well. Or it may be something that belongs to you they've never even seen before. And they just grab it and they mm -hmm. stash it out of sight. Oh, okay. So that's well, another thing that they'll do. Exactly. So <laughs> you, I know you have some tips because there are things that you oh, should yeah. do and should mm -hmm. not do. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, in regard, you should have duplicates of things like hearing aid batteries, glasses, any kind of eyewear that you really need that you can't live without. You might want uh, your keys for sure. You need to have some keys that no one knows where you put it so that that way she, they don't get to it and stash it. I remember one time we looked for the keys for two days and we only had that one dog on set uh -huh. and she had stashed it in, in a vase, a vase with water in it. And I, I don't even remember how in the world we found it, but uh, we, we could, <laughs> we ended up just tearing everything upside down until right. we finally found it. Are there reasons yeah. why she said, I'm, uh, I'm going to oh, put no, it right in here? they don't remember. They, they don't. don't remember. Because a few minutes later, it's gone with someone mm -hmm. with dementia. And what keys? What are you talking about? You right. Know, I don't have your keys. I've never even seen your keys. I mean, literally, yeah. one minute they <laughs> stash it somewhere, the right. next minute they won't know exactly. Exactly. Where and they you put don't want to leave anything in plain sight like mm -hmm. money. Are anything uh, like like your purse mm -hmm. because they may take your purse they may take things out of it while you're washing the dishes and go put it somewhere and stash it you want to remove the clutter from your home as much as possible so that you don't you'll know when something goes missing mm -hmm. <laughs> otherwise if it's too cluttered you're gonna you won't find out for several days till you need it see yes yeah, that's another thing that you want to certainly do. so keep duplicates as well as <laughs> kind of remove right. a little bit of mm -hmm. the clutter around the house of mm -hmm. course you also have tips on what not 
not to do because right. that's important as well. Exactly. Well, let me just give you one more tip okay. of what you can do. This is a wonderful idea. Make up some trays that has some costume jewelry. Mm -hmm. You know, whenever you're out of the flea market or whatever, pick up extra costume jewelry so you can put it on trays. For men, pick up big old giant nuts and bolts so that they can play with that mm -hmm. whenever they want to. And make trays of these things so that, and then give them some shopping bags or, or the ladies the purses mm -hmm. so that that way while you're cleaning the house or doing something, they can go shopping in the different rooms. You can leave these trays laying around. That way they still get to do these things that make them feel like they're accomplishing something, but it doesn't interfere with your things that are important. See? I see, I yeah. see. And a lot of this just has to do with um, occupying and, time? Yeah, or? And, and it's a compulsion. Okay. It's, an, it's a compulsion that has to do with dementia. And most of them have that. But mm -hmm. one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to yank it out of their hand and yell at them. Mm -hmm. You don't want to panic. You don't want to accuse them of, uh, of stealing. Uh, you don't want to get angry. You don't want to have all this anger going on. You uh, want to keep your sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Always keep your sense of humor and and just understand that this is not their normal mindset. Have some mercy, some tenderness and some love. There could be some consequences if you do mm -hmm. yell, if you do yank things out of their hands, right? Yeah, you can get bopped in the nose, Eileen. Okay, <laughs> simply put. <laughs> That's what could happen. Right, right. It could cause a, a huge <laughs> catastrophic problem. You may not sleep that night. You, you don't want to get into a fight with your no, loved one. No, you don't. Yeah. And you just want to use your sense of humor and understand this goes along with the territory. Mm -hmm. All right. And so we have all these tips and more in our books. Some great advice, of course, carried here mm -hmm. in your caregiving tips right. A to Z books. Um, to get your own copy of these books, you can always call 210-521-8668. And when they're not here, Star and Bob Colloy uh, are giving tips as well on KKYX 680 AM on Saturday mornings, 9 to 10 AM, Caregiving 101, and later in the hour, 10 to 11 AM, Marriage 101. Right. They've got a lot of advice to give out there. So not only is there a phone number, there, but there is also a website. It's caregiversadvice.net. Some great advice, as Thank always. You. Thank you so much, Star. See you Thank next you. week. All right. See you next